Yes guys, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Conan and today I'm gonna to be taking our student an entire full day of eating. So let's get into it. Before we do get into it though, obviously we do need some food in order to do a full day of eating. So let's go to Walmart first, pick up some food and then we'll get into it. And if you guys watched my last video, you guys know that I'm absolutely, <laughs> I, don't, I honestly, like, genuinely, I do not know what it is, but there's just something about grocery shopping, specifically here in America, that I just get really excited about. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, there's just something about, like, I don't know. Like, I really don't know. Like, genuinely, I don't know. Like, if you were to ask me, Conan, what is up? What's wrong with you? I'd be like, I don't know, man. Like, that's literally, like, blah, blah, I don't know. So, <laughs> anyway, um... We are going to Walmart today because normally I do go to Target, but I've been to Target a couple times. And so, yeah, today I just want to switch things up, switch up the scenery. Maybe they got some different food. So let's go to Walmart and uh, see what they got. Groceries have been bought at Ralph's, by the way. I didn't go to Walmart, as you guys can tell, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is currently the next day and it is breakfast time. So let's go eat some breakfast. So upon waking up, I drank a big glass of water and I took my morning supplements. Now for breakfast, I like to make a big bowl of oatmeal. And the way I make this oatmeal is just 60 grams of oats with 400 milliliters of water. I add a bunch of salt. As you guys know, I like my oatmeal to be nice and salty. Don't ask me why. Don't knock it till you try it. You guys gotta try it out. Just add some salt to your oatmeal and just thank me later. And you're just gonna cook it until it's cooked. And I'm actually using rolled oats here instead of the quick oats. Rolled oats do take a bit longer to cook but i do like the texture and consistency of the rolled oats compared to the quick oats basically it's going to take a bit longer to cook but it should cook fairly quickly on the stove and then once it is cooked i'll add it to a bowl and then on top i like to add some protein sludge as you guys know i always go for the vegan version i do not like any whey as of right now because i've noticed that i mean when i was traveling i did consume quite a bit of whey protein and i noticed that my skin started to break out um i had like bad stomach issues it wouldn't digest properly so um yeah i've been sticking to mainly just a vegan protein powder as of lately i believe this is a pea protein and um yeah honestly the taste the texture the consistency and overall the way it feels in my stomach is just a lot better compared to any other protein powder so definitely if you are experiencing the same issues with whey protein or any other protein powder definitely recommend going for a vegan option anyway as you guys know i sludge it up so all i do is just add a bit of water mix it until it's like nice and thick add that stuff on top of the oatmeal and then next to that i'll add 100 grams of some frozen berries and that is pretty much it do you want left here it's not a problem for me for your video no 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 it's on time lapse so you don't hear anything oh okay yeah so you're okay <laughs> So while I'm eating this delicious breakfast, one thing that kind of bothers me, it doesn't really bother me, but I just want to bring it up really quickly, is that when people say, oh, I skipped breakfast, that simply is not the case because after you get up from sleeping, whatever, seven, eight, nine hours, once you get up, you are in a fasted state because again, you have not eaten in like eight hours or so. So just because you skip breakfast and eat during lunchtime, doesn't automatically mean that you skip breakfast and you automatically went to lunch. Like no, that first meal, whenever you eat it, whether it's 8 a.m. or 12 p.m., or 3 p.m. it doesn't matter that first meal upon wakening up is going to be your breakfast because quite simply you are breaking the fast which is why it's called breakfast so again if you think oh i'm skipping breakfast because i'm not eating at a certain time i'm eating a bit later like that is still considered breakfast So just came back from a gym and today was actually my rest day so I should not even have gone to the gym today but I just want to go in and do some cardio and do some stretching as well because that is something I have neglected for pretty much ever. That's something I want to get better at so yeah just did some stretching. So now let's go back home and eat I guess our post workout meal it wasn't really a workout so let's just eat our second meal of the day. So what we got here is some pre-cooked chicken breast. I actually made a bunch of this last night. Highly recommend to just batch cook your chicken breast so it's super easy and convenient to just eat and grab whenever you want. Then we got two roasted potatoes here with some onion, some salsa as well, and then a bag of vegetables. <laughs> So 
so for my veggies as of lately i've been getting these frozen pre-packaged vegetables and they're actually like super convenient they're like a dollar each and um yeah i just use the entire bag super filling super good for you and um yeah it's pretty much just all vegetables there's no like added whatever salt or oils to it so yeah honestly like i do prefer eating fresher vegetables usually but i mean they're just so convenient man they're a dollar each like i buy like 10 at a time so they last for a while too and they're frozen so they don't get bad either so um yeah definitely that's been my new kind of go-to lately let me put on my broken glasses by the way does that look good i don't even know but anyway guys we are outside of a mall right now just because why not so let's go inside explore see what they got and uh yeah McDonald's to get myself a large diet coat, of course. So, just came back from the mall, didn't really do much there, just kind of walked around, explored some shelves, but I uh, got a diet coke anyway. Anyway, I'm so hungry right now, like, imagine, like, this is like the chart of like hunger. And like i'm like up here like i'm not even on the chart so that's how hungry i am so let's make a homemade chipotle bowl let's go so for this homemade chipotle bowl i pretty much just add a bunch of just random stuff to a bowl and call it a chipotle bowl i mean i pretty much can get away with it right so anyway what i do is i'll do some brown rice that i pre-cooked as you guys know i pre-cooked most of my food so i can just kind of throw it together and then call it a meal so i get some pre-cooked brown rice then i'll get some chicken breast put it on top and then i'll add some refried beans i actually got these at the grocery store yesterday and um, i saw them at the grocery store and i was like oh my god these look delicious i freaking love refried beans just something about just like mashing up beans that just makes them taste so delicious so i'll add those on top as well out also as well and then one huge fat humongous avocado avocados are literally my favorite fat source they're delicious so i added that on top as well then whatever else you have in the carpet as well so i'll add some salsa some fresh tomatoes some other fresh stuff some lemon juice and that is pretty much it Already, guys, dinner is served. Currently sitting in my front porch, so hopefully you guys can hear me. There's like a lot of cars like on the road, so hopefully you guys can hear me. But anyway, we got this massive Chipotle burrito bowl here. I'm actually really proud of this. I mean, look at the color of that. Like, there's so many different colors going on here. Super, it just looks super healthy in my opinion. So we got some chicken, tomatoes, red onion, avocado, refried beans, salsa, jalapenos, green leaves, and then there's rice in the bottom here. So honestly, like I don't even know where to start to be honest. Um, probably just try to get like a bite of everything. So there we go, guys. And literally, there's no specific recipe to this. Just grab whatever you have in your fridge and just put it into a bowl together. Make sure there's different colors, and um, it's pretty much all there is to it. Yo, yo, wow, Chipotle ain't got nothing on this. This shit, this stuff slaps, wow. This is really good, like, wow. So we're gonna eat this right now and I'll probably see you guys for the last meal. Alrighty guys, so for the last and final meal of the day, we're making some cream of wheat. You already know I love this stuff. I eat this stuff at home every single time and um, it's no different here. I still eat it here. I absolutely love this stuff. So yeah, cream of wheat with some water, salt. You already know, add salt to your cream of wheat and thank me later, just like you do with your oatmeal as well. And then once that's cooked, I'll add some protein sludge, the banana blast favorite, which absolutely slaps. It is amazing, highly recommend it. And then some strawberries on top and then on the side, I'll have four whole eggs and also I'll add some peanut butter on my cream of wheat and that is pretty much gonna wrap up the entire full day of eating. Alright guys, so like I said, last and final meal here, we got four whole eggs here, just add some salt and pepper on top, and then a big bowl of cream of wheat, strawberries, protein sludge, and some peanut butter on top. Mmm, delicious. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to go give this video a thumbs up. I would highly appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.